You can be in it if you want to. about my week because it was kind of exciting very exciting week so it was newspaper deadline this week and i have to say and i, I feel like i say this every time this was the best issue this is the best issue we've ever done hands down the best issue. so it was deadline week and uh here's what's the most amazing thing to me in this deadline we had an early dismissal day Mm -hmm. We had a day lost to a blackout. Yep. We had a day where we didn't have school, mm -hmm. and we still made deadline technically a day early. So my students are getting a lot better at, at getting their stuff in. Just when it's time to change staff. Just when it's time to select a new staff. The first one I've had is finally starting to get together. Uh, but this week was not without its challenges as well. There, there, were, there, there was an angry day. There was a day yesterday where I became so proud of what they had done that I actually cried in was, front of them. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful day. <laughs> but I don't think any of them saw that I was crying, so I think it's okay. Because I caught myself and then I just turned away and then they were all, Yeah, it's time to go, so we're going to leave. <laughs> That's what happened. I was there. I saw it. The I funnest part was when we sent the paper in to our printer last night in a great triumph, and I started getting emails from our printer saying, You're, You've done this wrong. You need to do it right. And so I, and that's all he said. Like the email basically said, None of these pages are any good. That was the exact thing the email said. <laughs> and I wrote back, can you clarify what you mean by not any good, please, so we can make the specific changes. Apparently, we've been producing the paper on the wrong size of document and InDesign all year long, and they just decided to tell us. So this morning, first hour, I fixed the size of the document and then came down in a hurry, second hour, and people were working before the bell even rang on what they needed to fix, and brilliant. we got Simply it in. Brilliant. It's it's all good to go. So we we have made deadline, and so now we just have one more left. This next deadline will be run by the new staff. Do you want to talk about interviews? Sure. Interviews were great. Explain what we why we did interviews. We did interviews because we, we want to get a feel for both the new students and both and also what our current students who want to come back to staff how they would feel about changes that we're planning on making because we're, you know, we're constantly revising, but we're constantly revising not only how we grade, but how we do everything else. And so we wanted to see how all these students reacted to that. And I think on the whole, the people that applied and the people that want to come back are people that are going to make it. I think there were a few uh, no-shows or late shows or interesting interviews and thank you interesting interviews that probably probably not gonna make it and it, it's it feels weird because it's almost counter to what you get taught in college when you become a teacher <laughs> however look can I use an anecdote please Please do. When my brother started school here at Bellevue West many years ago, he was tone deaf to the point where my sisters and I would beg my mom to make him stop singing in church. <laughs> we would lean over in the middle of church, Mom, he's embarrassing, stop, make him stop singing. Could not match pitch at all. If Mr. Reimer, Papa Reimer, uh -huh. had put him in West High Singers that year, mm -hmm. it would have brought down the entire choir. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's different. This is not a core class. It's, this, uh, this is, it's not even a class it's in the not, traditional sense. No, it's not. And just like my brother had to wait two years 
before he could be in West High Singers, he needed those two years to develop. Mm -hmm. And if a kid is really serious about wanting to be on staff, the downside is we don't have different levels of production. Yeah. But, or publications. But a kid who really wanted to be on staff could come in and say, I want to write a story about this to practice, or can I check out a camera to practice? And they can refine their skills in other ways and then reapply another year. You know, mm -hmm. show me how badly you want to be on mm -hmm. staff and, and we'll see. Mm -hmm. So you can't put someone who can't write on a newspaper staff. No, no. Or someone who can't take photographs on a yearbook staff <laughs> as a photographer. <laughs> I was not looking at your face because we're sitting at this angle where I feel like I don't like profile views of me because I'm very vain in that way. So I've been trying to limit my looks at you. I don't it's like hard to profile. do, not just because you don't like your profile, because it's hard to not look at me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right, Mr. Campbell? <laughs> but yeah, interviews, I, I think I like, yeah. I, I was a little bit, I don't know if I want to do this, but I'm so glad we do it, and as long as I'm uh, running a, a publication, I will do it every year from Easy. now on until they tell me I have to stop because it hurts kids' feelings. <laughs> I don't think we hurt anyone's feelings. I think I might have scared a couple. I think we both scared a couple. I think you scared, I think you scared a couple. <laughs> I think you scared some of the returning students, <laughs> and I scared some of the new students. You know what, sometimes it's fun to just sit back where no one can see you and scream out names. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That I did stuff. I did have a good time doing that. So yeah, so all in all a productive week. So we'll be posting our staff list next week as we walk out of the building away from all of the children. So we're filming from a different location. We shall next week. find a different location to film from because I don't want to be here to hear the wailing and gnashing of teeth. I'm not gonna call it cowardice. I'm gonna call it genius. <laughs> We're cowards. A little bit. A little bit. But you know what, though? This is, it, it's the same philosophy. When I was coaching speech, kids would always want to see their ballots on the bus. Mm -hmm. They just competed in a speech tournament. They haven't made finals. Or maybe they made finals and they got last place in finals, which is still in a big field. Mm -hmm. Still a good thing, so, right? Yeah. And I would always say, can't see a ballot until Monday. Why not? Why not? Because you need time. You need distance. Uh-huh before you can adequately process what you're about to see. Because if I had to hand out ballots on a bus with the kids that I had, some kids would have been able to handle it. Mm -hmm. But the kids, a lot of the kids that I had, they probably would have looked at them and, you know, they get angry and they ball them up and, and then they're unteachable. What I was able to do is I was able to give them the distance so that when they looked at the ballots on Monday, they could distance and say, oh, okay, well, this judge clearly moron but this comment's actually pretty yeah. relevant you know and so i feel that we are just doing the mature thing and letting them process through any any emotion excitement mm -hmm. or disappointment and then we can talk about it in a more rational way on monday because they'll burn off any kelly brosta could you please come to the front office they'll burn off any extreme emotion over the weekend yeah and especially <laughs> we're evil Right. Especially on a four-day weekend. Yeah. Because we don't have school Friday or Monday next week. <laughs> so by the time we come back to school on Tuesday, I think it'll be pretty... It'll be, there might be some that still want to have conversations Which with is us, fine, right? but it won't be, I think, as emotional. Yeah. So, yep. anyway. So that's a good week. Good I, week for me. Anything I, else? I have my magic list of who I think is going to be on staff next year. I have a magic list, too. Woo! Yeah. Other than that, no. Okay. Well, have a lovely weekend. Bye. Bye. Happy Passover.